Hey guys, it's Russell back. And on today's video, as part of our hybrid wash series, I'm going to be testing the combination of Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash and Adam's Ultra Foam Shampoo. Almost out of this, so I hope I have enough. As always, on all of our tests, we're going to be using the MTM Submachine Gun Style Firmer. This happens to be the PF22. I'll be using 10 ounces of warm water, one ounce each of our car soaps, We'll test the foaming ability and how it does as a pre-wash. Then we'll switch to our bucket where we'll use our three gallon bucket and put one ounce each of our car soaps and see how it works as a hand wash. It's about 64 degrees outside. It's a light breeze. There's a little bit of sun. It's in the afternoon. Um, I'm really excited to see what this combination does. Both of these are very, very good shampoos. The uh, Meguiar's I really consider kind of like a mid-level shampoo is the best mid-level shampoo. Um, I use it all the time. You would think I, with as much stuff as I have left over from all the tests, but I really do use that a lot. And the Adams Ultra is very, very, very good too. So hopefully we're going to get a 10 out of this. I don't know. I'm still, my hopes are still up and I know that uh, we'll eventually get there. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Maybe we'll find two tens. Maybe there's an 11. I don't know. You know what? It's like eating a Snickers bar. It's always just better the next bite. I don't know. Anyway, enough talking for me. Let's go outside and see what this combination can do. The car has been through several rainstorms. Sorry about the wind again, folks. Seems like the last couple of videos have been nothing but sounding like I was in a wind tunnel. All right, so I have 10 ounces of warm water. We've got one ounce of our Gold Class, one ounce of our Adams Ultra. Let's see how this foams. All right, initially the foam goes on very thick. It's comprised of a lot of medium cell bubbles and some micro fine ones. There is a very good amount of lubrication just in the foam itself. <coughs> Excuse me. It seems to run pretty quick on the vertical surfaces. That is not really a surprise, but look at on the horizontal surfaces. It's pretty much just, it's almost, this is what I would consider a two layer foam. The base layer, for whatever reason, likes to cling, which is good, which is what you want because it's going to soften and help remove the non-bonded contaminants. All right, so I'm gonna let it sit for six minutes. We'll come back and see what kind of bonded contaminant or i'm sorry what type of or amount of non-bonded contaminants the 
hybrid wash can remove. All right, so here we are six minutes later, and there's probably a good 70% of the volume, maybe 75% left on the hood, the windshield and top, and on our sun side, probably 35, 40%. So let's go ahead and take the pressure washer. I'll rinse this off and we'll see how much of the non-bonding contaminants this hybrid wash can remove. And more importantly, will it harm our Adams liquid paint sealant? Well, the camera died uh, while I was spraying it off. So I'm gonna spray it off again, just so you know, I sprayed it off. All right, well, sometimes we do have technical difficulties, but yes, I sprayed the car off. And as we can see, there has been no degradation of our Adams liquid paint sealant. One thing I do like about this combination is that it rinses very well. It doesn't, it's not hard to rinse, even though the foam is fairly thick. It did a very good job on the non-bonded contaminants. Not quite as strong as some of our other pre-washes. As you can see where I, my finger was on the wheel, but it did a good job. This is a solid nine as a pre-wash for sure. All right, so I'm gonna get everything set up and we will test the foaming ability in a hand wash and um, see what this thing can do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add one ounce of our gold class car wash this is a very, very viscous car soap. This rivals a lot of the top tier soaps as far as viscosity, it's extremely thick. It's almost like hair gel. It's got a scent of, of course, as I've said before in the test, Johnson's baby shampoo. And it's gonna sit on the bottom as all of our viscous car soaps will. This is, I don't care about scent, on a, in a car soap, but this is very, very grape slash berry smelling, and it's kind of pearlescent when you look at it in the bucket. There's a lot of lubrication it's very very slick and slippery very slippery in the water now i'm going to get the pressure washer and agitate this and we'll see what kind of foamage it makes This is a very good foaming car soap in the bucket. However, as you can see, it's breaking down. There's a lot of medium cell bubbles, kind of what we saw on the car out of the uh, MTM foam cannon. But it's, it's a pretty thick foam. And let me tell you, there is this water is really slippery. Very, very slippery. You could become best friends with this really really quick all right so i'm going to go ahead and get our uh, multiple mitts and we're going to go ahead and do the hand wash portion of the test and see how well this hybrid wash combination will remove the bonded contaminants 
I am going to do a video very soon on the wash mitts that I use, but I got to tell you, these are phenomenal. They are the uh, really the perfect size to do this. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you, oops, my final review of the combination, hybrid combination of the Gold Class and the Adams Ultra Foam. It is really, really, really good. It's a solid nine and a half and a hand wash. The reason that I like it is because I think the Adams adds some durability to the Gold Class and the just the way that the soap solution lasts from the start of my area to the end of it is very high you're really going to like this if you use a really good mitt i mean look at that shine you can get some face time in there for sure with a shine like that but yeah i think this is a, a good solid nine and a half it's not the not the 10 that we're looking for but wow this is this is a really good combination both of these in their own right are good, but together I think they add um, they add some value to each other. So good, uh, good stuff here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this. There's not much to say. This is really, really super shiny, smooth. It's clean. It removes the bonded contaminants very well. So we're just going to leave it at that. We're going to keep looking. If you guys want to try this combination, I'm going to leave the links to where I got it in Amazon below. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you guys on the next video.